Well, he has low health, but he does still have the AK cold with everything to do, just popping noggins. Ooh. He's cleared three bodies oh! and the fourth. I didn't, I didn't think it was actually gonna, I didn't think he would actually do it. I love the immediate plant. Oh, there's one. Cut down to just a single man advantage. Zaiwu making noise, so they know that he's still flirting and floating around this bomb site. But simple bests him. Here comes shocks. A second headshot and a third one through the smoke. Nope, not yet. Still, the clutch could be. Flamey's down. Another round for Vitality. He's just going to eject over to the B site. He could. <gasps> nope. Nope, he's gonna take this first frag, the drive by, and the commit to the plant. Open plant, he can see the feet, he's gonna Ooh. shoot him off. He's oh off of god. it! Oh my god, simple. Uh oh, aborting he the plant, he has to, to go down on it. Now it's oh. about to kill, he's gonna land it! He's oh my god, what's so down? Within time. NBK's gonna be in for a bit of a tight uh, time here. Whoa. Nicely done, point blank, finds one, gets a second, a third! Looking for it, and he gets the fourth as well! French CS. This leaves it all on Cirque. Last man alive, and it's not looking good. Doesn't want to fancy them pushing past him. Elise continues the spray. Okay. He does grab that second, but Nico, 1v3, has a player in the open, jumping, hoping, oh. was an fly, and there's the head on display. Oh, yeah. He takes it. Woo. Now to the 3v1, Amanek dropping down like Spider-Man into the vent, looking for a flank kill here, and I don't know how, but he did not spot his first target. A Mantu doesn't get all three. I mean, no, it's Amanek. He has to work hard, but he ends up but getting it. That's the big one. I mean, we say Mantu shouldn't get all three, but Mantu also had 100 HP. And the door's open. Whoa. Amanek's gonna rush it. Whoa, his teammate It's not there. planted oh, three seconds. Oh, cover that. There's no way. Amanek robs the round. Close the door. He has really been uh, outside by Poison a number of times. Now it's a two on five. And again, complexity, if they can just remind themselves to keep it cool, they should be fine. Blame if going down, I think Magus a little bit further up than they were expecting. And that could result in a bomb plant here. This isn't quite over yet. No, but what they do have is Rush and Oboe out towards Long. Yeah. Poison and Config gonna be coming from CT spawn. This is a powerful retake, especially with the advantage of utility. Zip and Magus have to get aggressive somewhere, and it's towards Cat that Magus is going. And they might be in a lot of trouble. Config has that one Molotov, so if they go on Catwalk, he could block at least one of them out, and that would be an issue. Now they're trying to get in there. Magus will get the kill, the turnaround, and actually he'll follow it up. Magus with the grenade, and now Rush on the other side. This is where they need to close it out. Don't ever give Astralis a chance to get back in a game. He's waiting for it, and Magus will take it down. I mean, at least they'll find the plant. A Molotov down on... Oh, oh he stopped it! Four, Taco three, has no time! Five. That's sickening! Showing up at the bomb site, and they just can't hold them back. Breeze will get the kill on NBK. Pretty good long range shot with a Glock person again, just driving by his Tarek. And now it's all on Val. The P215 hand, he's gonna close the door and try and see if play a little game, but they're double up on it. He gets two big kills, he closes it back up again and runs away. Tarek wants to catch him, but he can't! And he's back for more. Val will take him down. A quad kill for OG to win the round. I and Cirk, he's not affected. Still firing that clock. He's gonna get a kill and we'll follow up with another headshot. They still bring it back into a two on one and Breeze is now inside of the bomb site, and they're coming for him. Alexi, he's still got that kid in hand. He could still actually turn this around. Early defender on B, flanking out right and Breeze. He's now trying burst fire mixed in. He gets a headshot at the end. Fur has gone all the way back around T-spawn. Stewie, though, he's waiting no longer. He wants to cut down these numbers, and he'll do exactly that. Taco has an upwards position, so really it falls onto Fur. And with Nafly playing with his grenades, that's going to put Nitro down to the clutch. His spray's wild, but still it connects. It's time that's the biggest issue. Taco taps it inside Whoa. the smoke. No, doesn't matter. Team Liquid, keep this one rolling. Electronics waiting just on the other side. You can see Vitality getting a little nervous, wanting to go for the peaks, and the timing's there. The spray Ooh. hits two. Oh, the P250 dash! No way! He gets it again! He did it again! What can he do with this MP9, or MP, MP, uh, MAC-10, excuse me, how many kills can he get? They're gonna start sprinting, and if he doesn't pull that trigger, oh, oh he's got all three! Oh, he sprays God. down the back two of the caboose and can't finish it! So many players about to round this corner, and Kenny's gonna just have to hit some heads. He's hanks for them, and it's just the first. He's able to fall back, he's gotta put his we weapon back together, 
And he will. It's a good time flashbang, but he knows the magazine's low. Now he's got the knife out. Oh. It's a stab onto Issa. Oh, oh my and god. And the headshot on Devolda. Hunter's gonna help him out from pit, so Alexi B is all alone in a one versus five. Apex is sneaking around. I don't think Perfecto has any way of knowing that. And Apex, he's got the right idea. He definitely sees that. And a straight headshot leaving Electronic in a one versus two and smoked off as well. This is gonna have to be an absolute prayer for him to for this to even work close. And he actually gets a shot right through. This surely can't be happening. He's trying again. Our bullet would take him down, but RBK maybe doesn't even know. The grenade and Electronic saving them one more time. But how do they set him up? Well, Nitro's flashbang could be the key piece for the peaks. One and two from each side, but Stu can't quite find an angle. He will drop Brokey, but Rain, who's done everything thus far, pushes this into the 1v1. He's got to close this gap, get up close, tags him so much through the box and oh. finishes him off because he just hit. <gasps> Wow, he even had time, time to pick up the gun. He was fine with oh. it. He knew exactly what he had to work with. That's a round one. He's going to come out for the fast flank. They're not expecting this just yet. And it's the bomb that's behind, so oh he has God. to commit further. Alexi is He's low, coming. ladies and gentlemen. He's coming. There's a chance for this. He's and he gets them. both down to 1v2 to close it out. Fifth time's the charm. Jumps back into the post plant, but it's not planted for stairs, not entirely. An awkward angle for him to hold. Fallen's gonna walk right into oh. it. He loses his head, and with map one on the line, oh. Liquid are gonna take it. That at least gives him a little bit of space. He gets that headshot immediately. That's very quick. And now does he know? Device pretty much can only be at this angle. He's out in the open, so if he doesn't win this fight immediately, Device will take him down, but Oba will do it! He can work back around Boomich, who has no idea he is so exposed to this. All the while, we have a player walking up, and now he takes that kill. The question is, can he land another? Flamey, there he is, straight in front of the crosshair on the edge of the smoke, and he's gonna work closer. No kick, the spam is his! Oh they wanted players blocked off. But now Boomich is going to have a much easier job. No grenades to dodge, no bullets flying back. He's already managed to drop RPK. Alex, though, still potentially in his way, just on the other side of this smoke, but they're making noise. Look at this. He's he is gonna... not afraid. Damn, man. <laughs> oh, my God. They're he jumping exactly all over what's top going of him. He's gonna walk right through this, and it's gonna be an easy two-piece, because he knows the scope is there. How about another? Boomich, making mincemeat of this anti-eco. 21 kills, as simple, sits second best at 10. No, he's got an ace, man. That's an easy kill right there. That's a massive amount of output with the P250. And again, the flank is coming three people. They're going to be raining down right on top. JKS, he really needs to get back, but he can't. He's low on health and he gets caught, leaving Azur alone. He's put down the bomb inside of the smoke, but he can't really escape. He's trapped on this bomb side. He wins the one fight and the follow-up isn't there. Ethan couldn't flank around quick enough. No armor and Azur will save them. Well, there are a couple of players out there that, uh, that will show something every once in a while. Simple crouching him with the D. Oh, he lands a follow-up headshot taking down Maze. Yeah, the thing that makes this very rough is the armor that they're lacking, but somehow that doesn't even matter. The MP9 comes in. They swap that out for, uh, for an M4 now, and Electronic, he's got the health for it. It's a very awkward round indeed. But again, just remember that armor could... Oh! Forget about the armor! They've got a bit of a crossfire, but again, there are more grenades to break that up. There's one of them into the pit, forcing it out. Look at the communication here for OG. This is just so well played on the retake, and Stanislaw ready and waiting to take them down. The headshot will finish it. Blowing up the door, throwing in a flashbang and a smoke to get down, and they've got two people and Glaive with a headshot. That is such a huge amount of success. Now, Simple did flank around to take down Glaive, so that's not bad, but popping open the door, and Dupree will take the fight. Perfecto there, but the bomb, oh, they actually come off it. I think he almost wanted to do it immediately, Sip, but he waits. He did, but he was the only one in the bomb site, and that's a great follow-up kill from Simple. But Device is lying in wait, and he, Simple's got another one. A third player coming to challenge, and Simple's ready for that as well. Alexi, not the time to be playing with nades. Issa opens up with the first kill. Hunter and Kenny S all dropped by headshots, but here's a response. Two kills immediately out from the tees. And Nexa now needs one more. We are in the clutch, and Vald is not going to have any cover. Oh! oh! Come on! I don't know how you recover this. Cirk is going to pick that. up the one. Yes, I mean, it's something. It could have maybe helped out, but Breeze is down here. 25 seconds. They go, oh my god, he gets a headshot! Oh, they gave it to him! 
made it a 5v4 immediately. Oh, chance here. RBK gets a solid entry, but a greater spray from Blame F. But Shox is patient at the moment. Poison. Oh my god, he runs through his own Molotov, making the kill even easier. A fadeaway frag, and one back the other way. He's just gonna be looking to play this post plant. He needs headshots, oh, and he's got them! He does it! Shoxy, keeping vitality in this. They have no kit to play with, so the time is a big issue. There's a player in the deep corner. That flash should be enough to flush him out. Fully blind is Olaf. That one's easy. But it's the double up on Banana that could serve as an issue. Twist's not ready for cold! <laughs> Tiffany taps his way! Woo! Alexi is gone, but instead he tries to throw it deep and it does nothing. Valda peeks wide, goes for a second, but Kenny's ready. And Amanek now in from Decon is going to try to pressure from the other direction. It's a great peek from Kenny, but he doesn't clear the second player. Mantu, he stops Defuse and takes Kenny! OG have found a fourth round! Ready. Oh my god, he's got two. two. Yeah, the yeah. 1v2 now, as now, Issa will come up to bat. He should find one in the open. If it had been clean, maybe he gets the second, but here we go. This is what you love. Pistol round 1v1. He takes to the skies! Oh! oh! And Hunter Kit. dies! Kit's there, it's desperate. He's gonna sprint to the bomb, hop on top of it. Oh, London, hold your breath! Yeah! He's nailed it. He's on his feet. We saw him yesterday. I have this gut feeling that third one was a jump shot. Look at this. Zaiwu crossing. Oh, sorry. Apex, yeah. Oh. 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 Wow. I had a feeling. That's nuts. I... I felt it in... Yeah. Still 20 seconds. They do need a bomb plant here in a 2-1-2. Two -two. So a little bit sketchy, throwing over the AWP to Iza and looking for a way to get that kill long range. The flick doesn't connect, but Mantu's there with a headshot now. 10 seconds left, and he's going for the fight up, and the open breeze will win it. I can't believe it. Looked like OG had brought it back. Have an opportunity, Alex. He'll end up dying. Perfecto gets the first kill of the round. Yep, too many players to handle. They all come at him at the very same moment. RPK. Meant to be slain, but oh. Oh, he connects oh. three! USP taps and Zaiwu only gonna get one more. Crazy will be there to trade, and Ethan takes down Valda. This is breaking EG's way now. NBK could be here to deny it, though. And sure enough, he, he's gonna catch one. Gets the second. NBK with the clutch. Flash comes out to help him cross. Bomb will also make its way over. Kenny spots an opportunity. Falls back, drops a second shot. Valda up to three. And here comes NBK. <gasps> there goes NBK. Amanek just needs to connect one bullet between the eyes of Valda. Just one. And he's looking. Seven seconds, drops his pistol. <gasps> Ooh, had a chance, Has but now he's got a brush. Closing the gap. Uh Gets him. <sighs> Navi cowering back towards ramp. All three of their players between Tetris and ramp itself. But it's just so tough for Complexity to really piece anything together here. The AKs start hammering it home as Electronic takes the three and four. Wow, yeah, you can just sit back and wait, why not? There we go, he's throwing it in. Does it actually segment him? It kept simple back, and now they're being just completely shut down in the middle. The three-ray crossfire, in effect, simple trying to get it back, and he's incredibly accurate with that Glock, and Flamey will follow it up. I can't believe it, it's turned around. They just run the other way. This they is let the, him go. This is the knockout punch. If Sean Fox cannot somehow clutch this round. I don't think Vitality gets back into this game. I think this is where all the frustration boils over and Flamey just lying in wait, the ambush. They're looking for an option. Spots one, spots two. Yeah. Up three and now the third shoots at him. He'll get that kill as well. Boomich is out. Obo back at the bomb site. Ten seconds. They have to sprint forward if they want it. And it's a nice headshot from Rush. Crisp and clean. Flamey, element of surprise. Obo dies. Four seconds. He has the plan. put it down. We're back to the 1v1 and the spam doesn't connect. Rush wastes no time, oh! and Flamey wastes no bullet. He's hoping that somebody offers him a shot, and it's Olaf who's up next. He's got to dodge these flashbangs in the mix of it all. Olaf has just a smidgen of an angle, but here's Nitro trying to chime in with his deagle. Time is the biggest issue now. It is so far gone, and Elise is just tucked back behind Box, taking damage. Down he goes. Brokey's on the bomb, oh! and Brokey's removed by Nitro, who takes two kills. 2v2 and running out of time here for Evil Geniuses. Valda now left. He's very low on health, but they don't have any grenades, so he could just buy a little bit more time, and I don't think they'll be able to do it. Breeze, how does he find him? Valda playing for time. He's doing this so cleverly, just dodging the bullets. He knows he has to come for him, and now he goes for the long-range fight, but even then, the time would have done it. That's Valda again saving the day. After plants are not going to be fun with this amount. That's, that's a real check on device.
And that's Electronic alone. Oh. Still going for the B-bomb side though. They're not slowing it down. Sip is falling back, but Glaive is still in here. And they're not checking it. That's a one. They line up for him and a beautiful triple kill. They thought they had it all figured out once. They saw Sip falling back down there. I think they thought, all right, that's it. We've, we've done it with Electronic. Still a bit of a flank coming in. He can bring it right back. They have no idea he's here. There's the first kill. Simple, he's looking for the flank at the moment, but Electronic cannot convert. Simple has the intel. He knows exactly where Glaive is, but great movement from Glaive to stay alive. He's forcing Simple to be the aggressor, trying to find this kill before the flank comes in, because Magus is creeping behind him, and he can't even handle the first. That's every single one from Glaive. With a Molotov, but... It's not going to affect the bomb site all too much. Fur could have just spotted that shadow. There was 100% a shadow seen, but Napoli still pushes one deeper. There's fire all over this bomb site. Everybody's taking damage on the side of Team Liquid. And KNG catches Nap midair, but Nitro swings it back. Can he win this 1v2? This is like the fourth or fifth time he's been in this position. He sees it and he takes him! And in the Krieg again we go. 30 seconds on the clock and they need to make a move right here. Complexity Magus is now on the flank and it's being Ooh. held a bit. He does get across and he's got the bomb, but Config's not holding long and that gives the huge opportunity. Magus coming in with a kill. And Obo in a one versus two, that's almost unwinnable. He's gonna stand up for a kill. Oh, oh my god, he turns around for it! An unbelievable round, a quad kill. I believe he's still alive. He falls back down, but the door is blocked and he needed that kill immediately. He's in a lot of trouble. Backup is trying to get here. MEK, how does he get that flick? We need to see that replay. Circlo, breeze low. It's a one on one now with the bomb down and Isa just trying to find the right moment. There's Circ smoking it off and he's going to run back to it. He does have a kit. He's going to sit on that bomb. Oh, he's waiting about it. There's the Molotov on top and that might be it. That might be what gives OG the final round. 16 to 14 with the grenade. And plenty of health there on the on the Astralis side, which is a bit of an issue. We nearly caught that Dupree now. Is the timing going to be against him? He's kind of looking the wrong way, and Perfecto will take him down. That is some unfortunate timing. And Magus now in a one versus two. He knows where both of them are, though. They at least have the information to call that out. So Magus going to get aggressive towards the window. He's going to peek. He's going to find that kill. The pounce needs to be right now. And Perfecto not expecting Magus to be posted up. As it looks like Navi are starting to reel it back a bit. Nade start to come sailing over into the site. Now they're down the ramp. Simple will take first contact. Electronic to help him out. Ouch. Wow. It's a series of frags. These guys are helping each other out. Oh, man. And it's not going to get any easier. They all start swarming Blaine. Oh, they're even trying to go for the knife. Second mark, they know exactly what's coming. It is long. But there are duels to win. And Brokey through the box takes this back down to the 2v2. He spots Nav, deals with it, and only now has Nitro left, but there are options. So he keeps his head on a swivel. Now he's starting to panic, swapping weapons, oh. and he gets it. 